All right, look, so as we have been starting to shift momentum and start to pay attention to some of these micro caps again, some of you are asking me the best way to start getting involved with them, right? You're saying, look, should I be selling some of my cryptos? Should I be taking away from my cash holdings? Like, what should I be doing in order to purchase these micro caps? And I want to tell you at least what I'm doing. I can't tell you what you should do, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. So right now what I'm actually doing is starting to take some small profits off the table from some of my bigger cryptos and I'm actually re-injecting some of that back into micro caps. Let me give you an example. Earlier today I decided that I wanted to sell off about $700 worth of my Bitcoin position. It was up about $220, $220, $300 today and I decided, you know what, I want to take some profits, right? So I took $700 off the table and of that $700, I actually took $350 and I allocated that towards my micro cap position um, yeah, holding. I guess if you want to call it, it's like a little, it's just an account that I, I purchased my micro caps through, right? And now the mindset behind this is, okay, I've taken some cash off the table or I've taken some crypto off the table. So I have a little bit more cash just in general that I can do whatever I want with just pure profit from the gains that I've seen. But the other thing about it is I actually feel as if, okay, well, realistically, the amount of gains that I could see from now on with Bitcoin might not be all that crazy, right? It might be another 2X, 3X, 4X, which is cool. But if I can take some of those profits, say 200, 300, dollars, reinject that back into another micro cap that then sees a 15, 20, 100 X, then now I'm making my profits compound, right? And so my idea here is let me take the profits that I'm making, take some of those profits and try to triple them, make them go up by 5X, make them go up by 10X. Worst case scenario, I'll lose them all in those three cryptos, nothing happens. And realistically, I'm still up in profit because I didn't reinject all of my profits back in. Best case scenario is that the $700 that I reinvested, I got $400 in cash, and now that $350 maybe turns into $2,000, $2,500, I can maybe buy back my position into Bitcoin, and now I have some pretty free profits that I can inject into the other micro caps, right? Right now, I'm not really all that keen on leaving the crypto space. You know, I'm not really all that keen on taking profits, using that um, to turn it into cash and taking it to my bank account. I was doing that all through the bear market. I think at this point, with so much opportunity in front of us, it makes the most sense to re-inject that profit back into other cryptos that have more opportunity, right? And so the moment that I start to think some of these wells are running dry, I'm going to take what's left and move to the next well. Once it's running dry, I'm going to go to the next well. And what that looks like is maybe, you know, I run with my Bitcoin all the way up until, you know, it hits a point where I think it's going to pull back soon. I take some profits and I inject some of those profits back into some of the smaller cryptos and back into some of the smaller cryptos, maybe into a private sell, maybe into a pre-sell or a seed round and try to make those profits compound themselves. This is the reason why we were able to make, you know, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars throughout 2021, even in the last few months, is because we're re-injecting some of those profits back into some of your better opportunity cryptos, and you're not holding on to some of those ones that may be running dry rather soon, okay? So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. That's the method that I'm taking. That's the approach that I'm taking. It worked for me a few years ago. I think it's going to work again now, but obviously I will keep you up to date as it does play out. But make sure you do subscribe, turn on your notifications, and let me know down in the comment section below what what are you doing with your portfolio? Are you holding? Are you selling? Are you buying more? I would love to hear it and I will talk to you all down there. Peace out, everybody.